check one, two. Okay, cool. Hang on just one second. I talked a lot this morning. You need to hydrate in situations like this. Good Saturday morning, everybody. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. From the area around the Mid-South today, could be looking at a few more showers and thunderstorms popping up, but otherwise mainly sunny skies across the area. You can take a look at the forecast down at the lower red bar section of the screen and see more about the temperatures today going back into the 90s. Temperatures tonight will be back into around the lower to mid 70s at best. Winds will be out of the south today and also tonight, so looking again at some very warm and humid conditions out there. We're also going to throw in some chances of showers and thunderstorms into the mixture, so that can be a bit of a problem for outdoors as we start to increase the temperatures. We're also going to increase the chances of rainfall across the rest of the area. Coming up in just a little bit, I'll be washing dogs for a good cause this morning at about 11 o'clock at Saddle Creek. We'll talk more about that in just a little while and also take a look at the almanac pages from across much of the rest of the Mid-South and show you what we've seen over about the last 24 hours or so. This is your weather blog. What you like on here, what you don't like, let me know about it. The email address at the top of your screen at austin.onic at wreg.com. So whatever it is you'd like to see on here regarding weather, climate, anything like that, please let me know and we'll feature them on here as possibly well can. In the area and show you what's going on in Olive Branch from the Mayor Robs around the area of Olive Branch, Mississippi. A lot of sunny skies for this morning. And not that much showing up in the way of cloud cover, at least just yet. Ole Miss campus, things are quiet and dry this morning. A lot of sunshine campus in Oxford. Not too many people out and about for this. Not a lot of people out around Vaught-Hemingway Stadium as it undergoes its reconstruction in the north end. A few people up there. Looks like either doing some exercise or getting some work done in the north end of the stadium in Oxford, Mississippi this morning. Today's main problem is going to be a couple of things. Heat and humidity, but also ultraviolet radiation. Today is going to be be a hot day and if you're going to be outdoors doing any work like washing dogs like I'm going to be doing in a couple of hours you should use a decent sunblock factor again to make certain that you don't catch anything the way of a sunburn and today is going to be some very high up there UV radiation about a 9 out of 10 possibly around a 10 later on if we get enough sunshine into the mid-south now tomorrow not quite as much expecting around an 8 instead of a 9 so we'll get a little bit less but that's still going to be a very quick amount of time for you to catch just a little bit of some sun out there to get again the possibility of some sunburn so again make certain your skin is protected out there and keep it tuned to news channel 3 for more updates on the forecast no rainfall to report yesterday we're behind on the month for by about an inch just over that and we still have a very large surplus from all that rainfall that we picked up back into around February and March, so definitely good news there. Sunrise today at 545, sunset tonight at 814, sunrise and sunset tomorrow at exactly the same amount of time, so we're getting almost the same amount of daylight today, 14 hours and 30 minutes or so out there. Heading the kids out to the lemonade stand, make certain that they've got plenty of ice out there, they are going to be needing that for the rest of the day. Look at those heat index numbers. And we will see again the possibility of seeing some very hot numbers out across the Mid-South. So if you have any plans for being outdoors today, that's where it's going to be again more humidity out there to cause a little bit more in the way of uncomfortableness out there. You combine the heat with the humidity and that gets you the heat index. And that's exactly what we're going to see today is some very steamy numbers across much of the Mid-South area for later on. Now heading into the rest of the forecast. Again, for the rest of the day today and into tomorrow, the good news on the tropics is we're seeing very little of anything taking place at this time. Looking out into the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and the western part of the Atlantic, things are decently quiet. So we don't have a lot of things developing here, nor do we have anything going on out into the central or the eastern Atlantic. Usually the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean are the formation spots for this time of a hurricane season. And as of right now, we're seeing little, if anything, taking place throughout the rest of the area for right now. Now out into Africa, the storms usually form off the west coast of Africa, move out into the Atlantic. That is not happening at this time, mainly because what's heading in off of the Sahara Desert is a lot of dust and anything coming out from that direction. Thick amounts of dust will do a very good job in making certain that you see absolutely nothing when it comes to anything involving hurricanes developing for the time being. So the good news is we have nothing going on out there, anything involving hurricanes coming up from 
the Gulf. But keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. Rest of the morning, we could be looking at the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms starting to develop over parts of northern Mississippi. Anything along and south of I-40, that's where we could be looking at the potential for problems later on. And that will continue right on in through the hottest part of the day, back in the lower to mid-90s across much of the area. And right on into around dinner time tonight as well, could be some showers out there and some pop-up thunderstorms with temperatures still in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Heading into tonight, toasty around News Channel 3 at 10, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, clearing skies, hopefully partly cloudy to mostly clear into overnight heading toward tomorrow morning daybreak temperatures back in the upper 70s to maybe mid to upper 60s at best so again this is going to be rather uncomfortable conditions across much of the mid-south area into overnight and if it's that warm early in the morning temperatures will rise quickly from there heading close to 90 if not over 90 degrees by sunday at lunchtime and more chances of showers and thunderstorms will be popping up in the mid-south right on into tomorrow afternoon and evening and very warm by news channel 3 at 10 on Sunday night, high 70s to mid 80s as that warm air continues to stick around the Mid-South. Lower to mid 90s for high temperatures today. You've got to throw in the possibility of isolated showers and thunderstorms developing into afternoon and evening. More chances of showers and thunderstorms possibly developing by as early as early Sunday morning and continuing throughout early afternoon and evening on Sunday. Temperatures with more clouds out there will only make the lower to mid 90s. Lower 90s on Monday with scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. Notice the temperatures for lows. We will be looking for again numbers over the course of the next several days only back into the mid 70s at best. So we're not not going to be getting too much of anything into around relief at nighttime. So if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, this is where we're going to be having the possibility of some very warm weather overnight. And right on in through Flag Day, we look for the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. So if you have outdoor plans, please keep that in mind. Again, if you see lightning or hear thunder, you are too close to the storm. You can be struck by lightning, so you need to get back indoors again to make certain that you stay safe. Conditions for showers and thunderstorms will continue through the course of the next several days, all the way into around and including around next very much over to mid 70s at best. So again, any plans for the next several days, please keep that in mind. Let's practice safety out there as we rapidly run out of springtime and head towards summertime, which will be starting here in just about another 10 days or so, believe it or not. International Space Station will be passing overhead later on tonight. It will be heading on up from the northwest over to the north, right below Polaris. That will be about 946 this evening. And just around the area close to Vega, this will again be a iridium flare for later on tonight. We'll have more on that coming up a little bit later on. Got weather pictures you want to share with us? Please do. Lots of people have done so so far. And thanking all of our viewers for sending in some absolutely gorgeous pictures across the Mid-South when it comes to sunrise, sunset, cloud pictures, weather pictures, things like that. We want to see them. Send them along to us at aonic underscore WRAG3. I'm also on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook and on many other locations as well. So if you'd like to send in your pictures, we'll be glad to feature them here on News Channel 3 as often as we possibly can. Again, this morning from 11 o'clock until noon, I will be at the shops of Saddle Creek in Germantown. That'll be at 7615 West Farmington. The cause is for pause for a cause. That's P-A-W-S for a cause that'll be happening. It's a mega adoption event taking place and a dog washing event as well. It costs you a small fee to get your pooch washed there. I'll be one of the celebrity so-called dog washers. I hate that term. But we'll be allowing, again, dogs that are on a leash will be allowed into some of the shops of Saddle Creek. And some of the businesses will also have water dishes out there to bring your pooch along so they don't get too dehydrated. It's going to be very hot out there for them. So, again, please remember that they need help as well as uh, and making certain you stay safe as well. Again, I'll be there from 11 o'clock to 12 noon. That'll be at Saddle Creek Shops, 7615 West Farmington, and I'll be there again to wash your dog. That'll be going on until 3 o'clock this afternoon with various other media celebrities out there, so thanks a lot for uh, supporting a good cause. Bring your dog out there, and come out to see your next furry forever family friend uh, from some of the various adoption agencies out there. The hashtag on Twitter, great way to take a look at that there, is Adopt, Don't Shop, or otherwise hashtag Rescue Dogs Rock. Uh, good opportunity to get all the stray dogs off the street, spayed and neutered, uh, the cats as well and get them into your home as your next forever family friend so please come out there if you have anything you'd like to add to this uh, anything you'd like to see on here we'd love to pass it along again austin.arnick at wreg.com and we'll be able to feature again whatever you see on here this is your video weather blog 
your opportunity to see more about what is again you want to see for again the potential for weather here in the mid south area we've got climate we've got severe weather when necessary astronomical type stuff you can look at it's all available here but it depends on what you want to see on this and we can't run this well without you letting us know what you want to see on this so please let us know and keep it tuned again for more updates on your complete weather forecast i'll be here throughout the rest of the weekend so you have updates on that and also throughout the rest of the weekend on the eab radio network from country 92.5 and also on oldies 102.3 direct from the weather center downtown memphis i'm meteorologist austin onick thanks for joining us for today's latest edition of news channel 3's video weather blog weather overtime <laughs>